Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well on this fine winter's day. Now today I am going to be reviewing Megan that is currently in theatres. This movie was recommended by my friend Liam. So hey Liam, if you're watching today. Now Liam messaged me after watching the film telling me that the film was amazing and that I need to watch it. So that's exactly what I did. But did Megan live up to expectations? or was it all overhyped? Well, get yourselves comfy and let's take a look. So, Megan is a marvel of artificial intelligence, a lifelike doll that's programmed to be a child's greatest companion and a parent's greatest ally. Megan is designed by Gemma, a brilliant inventor in this type of field, and Gemma creates Megan for her niece Katie. Now, Katie loses both of her parents at the start of the movie, and Gemma becomes Katie's new guardian. Now, Megan can listen, she can watch and learn as Megan plays the role of a friend and a teacher. She's also a playmate and also a great protector. But as you've probably guessed, things go a little bit topsy-turvy when Megan starts learning at a very fast rate and takes the role of protector a little bit too far. Anyone who is basically horrible to Katie in this movie is in for a nasty demise. There's a next door neighbour who owns a dog that keeps coming into Gemma's garden and there is a scene where this dog actually attacks Megan but the dog also attacks Katie when Katie tries to help Megan. When the neighbour comes out and she ends up having a shouting match with Gemma, Megan turns her head at this neighbour in a very menacing way and it's not too long long before the dog meets a horrible end, followed by the neighbour. And that's just the start of it. There are many more kills in this movie, but I do think my favourite kill has to be that moment where Megan does that creepy dance, but it's also quite funny in the hallway. She ends up chasing and killing Gemma's boss. Now, I uncontrollably laughed when she started dancing, and I just, I just loved it. It was hilarious. But my other half Peter, he was absolutely petrified. Talking of there being a few laugh out loud moments, I don't normally like horror films where there is comedy thrown in, but for some reason this movie just did it so differently, it just worked. It just fitted in really well with the whole story, it wasn't forced and it didn't take away the horror element in my opinion. I don't think this movie was scary in any shape or form, but I did have a really good time with it. It's definitely one of those films I could go back and rewatch over and over again. I really like the look on Megan too. It's creepy how much she actually looks like a little girl until you take a closer look and realize that she's actually a robot. There were a few moments where Megan was mistaken as a little girl, you know, during the movie. There's a scene where they end up going to camp for the day and the camp worker realizes that Megan is a doll and she ends up jumping out of her skin. I think the most disturbing scene for me would have to be that kid's death scene in the woods. Before we even get to the death scene, this kid ends up hurting Katie in the woods and I was feeling a little bit uncomfortable. When Megan arrives on the scene, this kid knocks her to the floor. He then takes off his shoes and he like climbs on top of her. Now for a moment there, I thought something else was about to happen, which was just gross, but he was just pretty much, you know, trying to show Megan who was boss. That is until Megan leaps up and she starts to rip this kid's ear off. Megan then ends up chasing this kid through the roads in a really creepy way. A little bit like, you know, have you ever seen the film Mama? Where, you know, the one with the wild kids living in the woods. That's just how Megan likes to run. Megan ends up chasing this kid until he ends up tumbling down a hill and onto a road with oncoming traffic, ending his life in a really brutal way. I think this was actually Megan's first kill in the movie, or was it the dog first? Can't remember, but 
that, this was definitely the scene that made me feel a little bit uncomfortable. It isn't long before Gemma realizes that something isn't quite right with Megan. Megan isn't listening to her commands anymore. Megan's basically following her own rules and Gemma realizes that she now needs to stop Megan and to stop the whole Megan product launch. Did I forget to mention that to buy a Megan doll for your child will set you back $10,000. Let's just hope you don't have four kids. Another aspect in this film is watching how Katie is starting to see Megan as a person and not a robot slash doll. And there is a scene where Gemma takes Megan away from Katie for a little bit and Katie ends up going crazy. She flips out and she starts trashing this room. She even threatens her psychologist with something and then Katie slaps Gemma in the face. And I was like, whoa, what the hell is going on? here. But this was showing how easily addicted Katie was getting with Megan and I suppose parents in the real world could feel the same about technology in general like tablets, gaming consoles and mobile phones. There's a really cool scene which leads us onto the final battle where Megan has Gemma pinned onto the table. Katie opens up her bedroom door and she's calling out and saying what's happening? Sounds like that you know you're both fighting. I found that scene a little bit hilarious but there there is a really cool final battle between Gemma, Megan and KD because when KD sees Megan's true colours the penny finally drops for her that Megan is indeed out of control. But Megan will not go down without a fight. There's a scene where Megan is literally ripped in half by another robot called Bruce and you literally think that has to be the end now. There's no way she can survive that but Megan does remain alive when the top half of her body starts arm crawling towards KD before Gemma finally manages to get rid of the most important chip inside Megan's head. It's all very Terminator isn't it? I mean the more I talk about this movie I'm starting to realize that it's very Terminator slash orphan slash child's play which means that this film has all the elements of being a great movie and it really really was. No it didn't scare me but it was really super entertaining to watch and as I said earlier this is definitely the type of film that I will go back and re-watch over and over again so if you haven't already seen this film then you need to book yourself some cinema tickets right now and get your asses down to that theater. I've been hearing rumors that apparently the kill scenes in this movie were slightly cut down to look less gory and that apparently the blu-ray release will feature an uncut version which is actually a very cl very clever way you know to get the sales of the blu-ray release app I mean this is just what I've been reading on the internet don't take it as gospel I don't know if it's true it's just rumors but if they do release an uncut version I will definitely be a customer and put in my order straight in but all in all this is a great movie guys you will definitely have a really good time with this one will there be a sequel I'm not sure I mean I feel the final showdown was pretty much final but I wouldn't mind seeing Megan back for a second movie. Maybe someone obsessed with Gemma's creation of Megan could get his hands on the blueprint and bring her back. Who knows, but I would be okay for a sequel if it's done in the right way. But let's hear some of your thoughts, guys. Have you already seen Megan in the cinema and what did you think of it? Did you enjoy it or was it not your cup of tea? There's no wrong or right answers here, guys. Every opinion counts on this channel, so get typing. Okay then, guys, well, we have reached the end of today's video. Thank you all for stopping by. If you like this video, then why not share it with your friends and please be sure to hit that subscribe subscribe button. Right then guys, well thank you all for watching, stay safe out there and I will see you all again very very soon.